Hey there everybody, we have so much to tackle in this video. So I've been grinding for a new interceptor ship and I also thought I kind of need to change my appearance again since this is kind of already in a new chapter of the game. And I also want to kick off the, the Atlas path. So let's go to the hangar. Let me show you what I have stumbled across so far. There you can already see one, there you can see another one. Um, sadly, nothing yet that really clicks with me, but still some awesome finds. This right here, for example, was such a lucky find, that's an S-Class ship. So I switched to that one for now. Um, but uh, let's go through this one by one, there's another one. So this has been my ship so far, right? You can see it's I, actually I really really like the design but the yellow and red is just not my thing. Can we get some sunlight on it? Yes, nice. See it's kind of like mustard ketchup. It also it kind of reminds me of some construction vehicle, these colors. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. Otherwise I really like the design but uh, yeah it is what it is. Oops. <laughs> I, didn't mean to do that, but okay. It's convenient because then I can already go to the next ship. Here we have a big one. Um, I think that's yeah. This is even A class, so that's that's really nice. And this one that has these folding wings that looks so cool. But I know this. It looks huge on screen. Maybe I'm just not used to it. But I'm not a big fan of how. Bulky it looks when you fly around. And this is also orange and white, again, kind of like construction vehicle. I do believe that Hello Games kind of knocked it out of the park with these interceptor ships. Especially these folding wings, there's just something so cool about it, about the animation. But yeah, still looks for my taste, a bit too big and bulky. But <laughs> that still looks so cool. I, get, I gotta hand it to them. Now, next ship. Wait, what did we have back there? Just the fighter. Um, so here's another ship. Pretty, also B-class. Very similar to design to my original ship. But I'm also not so sure about the colors. Um, here it's also orange and white. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. But I really like the design still. Come on, give me some sunlight. Here we go. I also really like these pipes that go to the thrusters at the end of the wings. I can't of has a really cool cool vibe to it you can see here ah, I really like the design but again colors hmm? and I already went through 20 counted 20 echolocators you need four hands to count that high maybe in the grand scheme of things that's actually not that much but it it still took ages and of course, grinding for all of these ships, I also made a whole bunch of money. Money, yeah. Then here is my S-Class. That was, again, such a huge lucky find. And I switched to this one for now. And it's <laughs> just so amazing how, how maneuverable this is. It's like, it, it feels so responsive. I really like that. And I do kind of like here this double wing design. Also from above that looks pretty cool. Um, but it, it doesn't quite click yet. Also it's yellow and greenish. Kind of reminds me of John Deere rather. Okay, but, but still it's, hey, it's S-Class and it feels so good to fly around. So for now I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, maybe sometime in the future I will use planet coordinates to look for, for a ship that someone else found. 
But yeah, there you have your update on my on my interceptor search. Now I gotta rename this. Let's call this. <laughs> it reminds me of a bumblebee, but I don't want to call it bumblebee because that's just too much like transformer. Let's call it bee sting. Yeah, why not? Okay. And I suppose let's move on to our appearance. Oh no, wait, let, let me take care of these missions first. Also here, look at my cash. I got over 1 billion already. Just from grinding out these um, interceptor ships. They're pretty simple to grind. You just gotta look for um, a dissonant pirate system and then mine or farm. Oh, great, this. This frigate is broken. Uh, farm these, uh, what do they call these? These mirrors. And every now and then they will drop an echolocator. And once you have a bunch of echolocators, uh, you again stick to dissonant pirate systems or dissonant systems with. Let me fix this freighter, uh, this frigate here. And this is such an annoying... Ah, oh, yeah, right. I also got a whole bunch of new uh, frigates, as you can see. This whole process of fixing them is so annoying. I wish I could just do it from here. Why do I have to manually teleport there? So, as I was saying, you then still go to dissonant pirate systems or dissonant three-star economy systems. Okay, where are... The damages down there, and there you can use the echolocators to find um, um, the sentinel camps. Uh, put down a, a, a marker at the sentinel camp with your analysis visor or or a safe beacon or whatever. Do we have the material? Yes, nice. And then from a sentinel camp, you can usually get multiple. Um, interceptor ships. Did they already? No, they didn't. There's something hanging there. Yeah, just... uh, when are they going to finish up these frigates? Why is there still this invisible wall? Now I gotta run all the way around to the other side. Yeah. And uh, where was I? The Sentinel camps can give you multiple interceptor ships. And in that way, you can get a whole bunch of money from scrapping those. Now, all the way back here. I'm not editing out any of this process because this is just annoying. Okay? The, I mean, I I get that Hello Games want to put as much into the games as possible, but the, this process right here just isn't fun. Yeah, okay, still an invisible wall. It's, uh, I don't know, what it, it, it's just not engaging. I guess it's just supposed to be really punishing when your frigates are broken. What would happen? What would happen if I dismissed my freighter right now? Would I just land in open space? Um, I better not test that out. Okay, with the teleporter back here. Let's go back. And then let's send out some new missions. Um, ah, got a bunch of stuff here. I also just stole a bunch of fuel for, from... Ah, right here. I also have a bunch of salvage frigate modules, so... I can get some some more rooms. Okay, what kind of missions do we have? Uh, let's try this one out. Uh, wait, hang on, up here. 
and I do have an S class explorer. Let's try these two though, so they improve their stats. Send them off. And I should be able to make a second expedition. Let's take this exploration and send the S class. Bye bye. See you later. This is also what my base looks like right now. It's just a long hallway. Uh, I put this door there too, so it doesn't look so confusing. Um, so I've got all the stuff that I actually need to access in the front and the stuff that I don't really need to access in the back. Okay, let's head to this space station. It's the same system, so it's gonna load faster. And then we can take care of our appearance. Ah, right, 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 right. Um, yeah, hang on. Here, also, the mission A Trace of Metal started, and of course, that recording, like one and a half hours of gameplay, OBS decided to just crash when I ended the recording. So that file was lost. Yee! Ah. All right, let's do this. Um, for the head, I already know. I want to have this this cape-looking thing. That's pretty neat. Let's do it. Dual colors. I kind of like this idea. White on the top, black on the bottom. Then for the backpack, I want to try out the Sentinel backpack. Oh, <laughs> that is big. Why does it make me feel like I'm some kind of sci-fi fairy? Okay, and here's my reworked guy. Let's compare this before. And after. So, let's see here. Woohoo, these wings are big. Oh, I'm, uh, hmm, hmm. Not gonna lie, these wings are kind of in the way. Like, see, it's like the, the center point, how would you call it, um, is looking right at the wing, which means I, it's probably obscuring my view too much when I want to do stuff. Like, it's right smack dab in the center of the screen. That's, that's no good. Um... Would be nice if we could also get one without the wings, but still the backpack, because that one looks cool. Hmm, nah, nah, not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. Hmm, I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. Um, pretty much the same as before, just with the hood. It is what it is. I'll maybe tweak it again sometime later, but I've already spend quite some time on this, so I rather want to move on with my settlement. And here we are. Okay, let's fuel that up. Unfuel this up so it doesn't annoy me, and this one. I kind of wish that the recharging doesn't go to the gear that has the least um, charge, but rather the one that the computer just mentioned. So let's move on in with our citizen request. A group of adventurous citizens wish to leave the settlement. They state simply that they require more skulls and that the wilderness is the best place to look for them. What you gonna do with more skulls? No. Denied! Stop being lazy, people. Focus on your income. You are in debt. We gotta get rid of the debt. Now, that mission takes 20... Or, no, wait. I gotta wait 20 minutes for the next um, proposal to come in. So, let's move on. Here. Right. Atlas Path. I wanna kick that one off today. I, 
I still kind of can't believe that my settlement seriously spawned on a lush planet. Also, uh, what I forgot to mention here, I found some Sentinel multi-tools. The big one, I am a fan of, but it's A-class. I kind of wished I could have found something with S-class. What? Wait, what is a crystallized heart? Okay, all of that stuff is crystallized heart. Um, I gotta read up on that. Or just use a repair kit for those, because I don't know what that is. Um, so that I might keep and upgrade to S-Class sometimes in the future. This one is S-Class. That was a lucky find, but not a lot of slots open. And I'm also not a huge fan of that. I I'm kind of prefer the the big boys. The BFGs. I'm not sure why, it's just aesthetic as aesthetics wise, I prefer those. Anyways, let's go on and kick off the the Atlas path. Wait, wait, I forgot I wanted to get some more technology rooms for my freighter. Let's see here. Brace parts. Okay. Meta beam. So important. So beneficial. And then in here, what could I need? Um I don't need the appearance modifier. Technology room. Scanner room. Scanner room is um, useful. Nah, is that like structure room never really worked for me. Yeah, let's get the scanner room. Okay. Um, let's already build those. Uh, scanner room. Let me put that here in the front. So it's easy to access. And now on my freighter, I can install this one. Bam, bam. And I still need to get a couple of wiring looms. Uh, ah, come on. Why can't you buy wiring looms from, from your base? You always got to go to space station. Ah, and now that I have so much money, let's buy a couple of uh, derelict freighter coordinates. So I can grind those and hopefully find one that gives me some salvage frigate modules. As well as an, hopefully an S-class freighter technology upgrade. And I think these cap out at 30, yeah. At least per day. Okay, and I think I can get one more from that tree guy on the anomaly. You there, give me stuff. Blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. I don't really care. What? When? When does he start to give out derelict freighter coordinates? I don't get it. In any case, let's move on now, for real, with the Atlas path. Although that's really just grinding for... Hey. I thought I had already coordinates. No? Do I need to get coordinates again from Polo? It would, it would seem so. Oh well. You there, give me quartz. As for Atlas stage coordinates, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's try it again. Aha. Here we go. There it is. Now, if I remember com correctly, the Atlas path is pretty much just grinding for these orbs. 
And let's head over there. It's like each sequential orb needs the previous orb in order to be um, to be built, and some other buildable material. We'll see. Now, where is it? Hey, this space is dark. Interesting. So no color hue. Let's see here for fun. What planet is that? Who temperate? Immediately a lush planet. Noise. Ice bound. Oops. Um. Hyperborean. Okay, okay, okay. Then. Ooh, there it is. Ominous. Another Atlas station. Ah, uh, I... Now I kind of wish there, there was a colored hue to the surrounding space because... Black on black is not exactly that visible. Man, let's move in. Let me try to get a picture here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And in camera mode, you get a better perspective on things. Just how large these structures are. Oh my goodness. Let me get a screenshot of that. Maybe one from here. Okay. Um, nah. nah. I'm good. For now. I'm back. Have you missed me at last? Okay, let's move in. Warp cell, warp cell, noise. This is nothing. Hello! Okay, whatever. I kind of wonder what it says. The Atlas called me to this interface and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship. It demands obedience. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. The Atlas asked me to follow its path. Let's accept. I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders and the path to enlightenment opens to me. There we have our first orb, which needs chromatic metal. And I already know I'm gonna build a, a couple of those. Be Wait, what happened here? Oh, that's weird. Okay, um, because you're gonna need a couple of these final orbs later down the line, so make a couple of those right at the beginning. And let's head back out. Kind of. Here, know that I finished the Artemis storyline already. We know the Atlas is a supercomputer, and now it feels like our character's understanding of the situation is reverting. But oh well. Now, ah, uh, here, where was the lush planet? I want to check that out. Over here, I suppose. Yeah, temperate. Seems to have a bluish sky. You can already see on the light rim. And is that green? Green surface. 
Let's see here. Oh, that's ah, okay. It's rather greenish sky and a very neon green uh, landscape. Terrain takes a couple of seconds to to generate and load in. Well, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've seen more interesting by now. I mean, this is cool, but. I have seen more interesting stuff. In my search for an interceptor, I also found a lush moon. I put a base computer down there and I'm sure I'm gonna build a base on that moon sometime in the future. Oh, come on, why? It's kind of annoying that your freighter cannot be too close to the planet when you are in space. You can spawn it from the planet surface and then the freighter is really close to the planet but when you're in your ship you have to be super far away even farther than the anomaly I kind of wished that was not the case Now that I'm here let's see if there are any interesting X-Class upgrades and maybe also get the Exosuit upgrade or rather the technology slot Hmm, is there anything that I would need? Ooh, I'll take this hazard protection module. And this infra knife module. And let's also try these life support modules. Let's see here. Um, wait, let's take one out. Install this and that. Yeah, that's not that great. This one... Eh. Let me compare it to this one. Oops, wrong button. Nah, this one's way better. And let's get rid of that. Try this one out. This is also not that great. Okay, then. That was a wash. Let's try this hazard protection. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, let's move this battery down here. This doesn't seem to boost anything anyways. Kind of a bummer. And then put this one up here. Yeah. That should be better. And then infra knife module... Let's put this up here and yeah it's not much but it's something alrighty back on my freighter I need to make a bunch of chromatic metal to make a bunch of these orbs for the atlas uh, activated in the end will make a bunch of chromatic metal and then let's put some in here The conversion of one to four that's pretty good all right and I already have over 1000 and that means I can make a whopping 10 of those hey what was it about this remembrance orb ah right part of the Sun that is the final orb you will make I believe in the Atlas path so let's make a bunch of those and 10 should be enough okay let's put all of those in my freighter rather so they are safe from grinding interceptors i got a whole bunch of these upgrade modules as well and let me take two so i can fill up these two uh slots in my starship it's so nice to have this terminal in your freighter Great mod. Yeah, apply augmentation. One over here. And one over there. Nice. Now let me install this hyperdrive module. Uh, I need a hyperdrive core. It's so nice to always have some storm crystals on hand. And put that in there. 
Nice. So that's also done. Then I still need to install the Admiral and the Indium Drive. Oops. Wait, no, over here. Yeah. Okay, then we can do that in between. More wiring loom. Bam. Bam. Okay, just need Emerald. I'm gonna get that on the way sometime in between. Nice. Then let's go on with the next with the next Atlas terminal. Let's see. Where is it gonna send us? Okay, way down there. Let's do this. This is very orange. And where is it? Uh, down there again. Kind of weird that I am being spawned kind of above. Or the Atlas station is being spawned kind of below my level. Not sure what that's about. And let's head inside again. Interesting. This one's like a black hole. Uh, I kind of wish I had all the words for this language. I'm interested what it what it's saying. But oh well. Another Atlas interface. How many of these constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering, waiting for a traveler? Have they been expecting me? Am I somehow chosen? The Atlas crafted this existence. The Gek, the Viking, the Corvax, the stars that fill the skies, and the hatred that burns within the deep. Every world that turns and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. I take the gift of knowledge, certain in my decision. All doubts are silenced. The stars await me. Okay, see, this one needs the orb that I already made, and then some pure ferrite, which I guess I need to farm because I don't have that much. Then let's see about these planets in the system. Maybe there's something that has these big rocks. Empty planet that could actually have some of these big bowlers. Those usually have pure ferrite in them. Let's see here. Pretty rugged terrain. Okay, okay, but I'm sadly not seeing these these big boulders. Mm, just smaller rocks on the ground. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's a cave entrance down there. Interesting. Well, no, not quite. Not quite what I'm looking for. Maybe I should rather use my scan room here. That will give me a much quicker result. Empty planet, I just visited that. Nuclear planet, overgrown planet, abandoned planet, that might have... Big rocks, desolate planet, that too might have big rocks. Let's see. Okay, what will this give us? Whoa, that took some time for the ground to, to actually spawn in. What? What are those bulbous things? And we got arrival rings. <laughs> um, <laughs> are these? No. Let's go down low. Mm, yeah, there are some rocks around, but 
They don't look like the bigger ones that I'm looking for. Ooh, that's an interesting formation here. Looks like a spine. What happened to the ground? Weird. Yeah, uh, no, also not sure. Then let's check this one out. Desolate planet. Aha. Uh -huh. That is... That is what I'm looking for. Very obvious big... Big rocks and boulders. Nice. And that, make sure, see, pure ferrite and carbon. Awesome. And, okay, let's check out. Bam. That is definitely more than enough. For fun, let's check out this overgrown moon. What? Oh, come on. I am not in the mood to play, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just spawn in my freighter. And I'm gonna land. And I'm not gonna have to deal with that. So then, now I should actually immediately be able to build the next orb. No, I can't do it in the freighter storage. Too bad. Where is it? Here. And... Bam, 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 bam. Ten of those. There we go. Then let's immediately move on to the next. Over there. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. And this is blue space. And again, down there is the next atlas station. Let's see what this atlas orb looks like. Because they kind of always look different. There it is. I can already see it. And it looks like a black Pokeball. Interesting. Man, these spaces are huge. Okay, good. Oh, didn't want to do that. Ew, it's undulating inside. I was born with everything I needed to explore these worlds. My exosuit, my ship, every tool and every impulse led me to scan and give name to whatever I could find. But this, I can give no name to whatever, to what I see. Within the orb, I see worlds that never were. I see the stirring of something primal and undeniable. I see the death cry of a god or something approaching it. It wants me to persist in this journey, seeking fragments of its interface, the stones of the atlas. It rejoices in my redemption, my compliance, my cloud of unknowing. Concede. I will commit myself to the voyage and all things. I am ready. I will not falter. Right on, brother. Ionize Cobalt. Ew. Uh, that will require me to go out farming for that. 
or also for just cobalt to refine. Until I get to that, let me take a quick look at my settlement again. See here, settlers. Okay, I got a new building opportunity. Nice. That may raise my income. Citizens have submitted proposal for the development of both a new moderate dwelling and a bazaar. Data indicates a 52% approval rating for the moderate dwelling, while 54% approve of the bazaar. So some people approve of both, I suppose. Um, then let's go with the marketplace. Again, we need a little bit more income here. Good, and it needs... Let me check, take a look here. See? Yeah, yeah. Um, we're almost, almost above our maintenance cost with our productivity. Um... Let's see here, where are we there? Let me spawn in my freighter. And... What? Ah, do I need to move it into my... Personal inventory first? Well, that's annoying. Okay, there we go. And that's gonna take... Ugh, two hours again. Oh, well, you go over there, and then I think I'm pretty much done for today. Uh, a bit more concise episode, I suppose. Trace of metal, I will continue that in the next episode. As always, you know how YouTube works. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And I shall see you next time.